Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am undecorating for Christmas and just doing a complete clear slate of my house for the start of the year. It is after January 1st. I will go ahead and put in a clip of what we did for New Year's Eve, just a few things of the food and stuff, and then jump right on into today's undecorating part of the video. It was a lot of fun, but I am ready for this house to just be blank for a little while and completely just clear out all the extra clutter. Sounds good, stick around, thumbs up if you enjoy it. That does really help my channel and I'm gonna jump right on in. For New Year's Eve this year, I put out a taco bar and some margaritas and I made a countdown cake, but of course I forgot to film that part because there was just so much going on. And then I love confetti cannons, so, and the kids, as you could tell, had an absolute blast with this. It was just so much fun. It was a mess to clean up, but totally worth it. And I do wanna take this opportunity to thank you guys again for another wonderful year for my channel. It means so much to me when you watch my videos and like them, comment them, share all of that. It really means the world to me and I truly look forward to another great year with you guys. You saw the other clip of New Year's. This confetti right here, I am still finding it everywhere and it is January 2nd now. And I have this cheap little chandelier from the Target dollar spot. You could still see some of it up there. It just constantly keeps falling down. So that has to come down today too anyways. But hopefully this will stop. Today to clean, I'm using the Mrs. Myers in the pear. I think this bottle I got last fall, not this one we just had, but the fall even before that. I still got so many cleaners out there in my cleaner closet that I'm gonna go through and declutter before I even allow myself to buy another one. The only thing I will do is buy another like spray weight. I just did that because I ran out. Oh, and at this point, it's your friendly reminder. If you have something that has batteries in it in your decorations, take the batteries out before you store the item. Just save yourself that hassle and take the batteries out. Also, any of these lights, wrap them around it and put them in a storage bag and one of these little like Ziploc bags. It helps a lot when you pick, take them back out. They're all in one place together. But what I was saying about the cleaner closet is I will take you guys on my next video. I'm gonna do a declutter style video and I'm gonna go in that closet, show you the mess, show you what we're working with and just how many of these products I still have to go through. It's ridiculous. And of course, while taking on the Christmas tree, I found one chocolate ornament. It didn't last 45 seconds past me finding it off the tree, but I found it. Into the living room, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off of the couch. I did put the white blanket back, and I do have two other big white pillows. I found them at Walmart, I think they were $6 on Black Friday. I do have those back on the couch, but past that, I don't know what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna go get two like smaller, lighter gray pillows and put them with the white, but I'm really not sure yet on that. Also, it's been almost a week since I put those little things under the couch. Might be over a week now. But either way, it has been wonderful. Mako's toys don't get under there. The kitten doesn't get under there. Cleaning up all of that confetti from New Year's Eve, nothing got under the couches. It has been just fantastic. I love having those under there to block it off. You'll see me throw confetti off of the top of this thing if you really pay attention. There's so many pieces of it still everywhere around my house. I don't know, it's ridiculous. I thought we did a good job cleaning, apparently not. Face not that innocent. always hold my garland on my fireplace with the command hooks. That's what you see me taking off right here is two command hooks. 
because I've learned if I don't put them there, my cat, when she gets up there, she plays and knocks it down all the time. And all of the dust from me not cleaning underneath that garland for, what, six weeks, seven weeks, something like that. There was a lot of dust up there. You already saw me take down the other tree in the dining room. I'm not gonna have you sit there and watch me take this tree down. I'm going to take all these ornaments off off camera and my husband is gonna help me box this one up because the box for some reason does not like to fit this tree. So it is a struggle and it does take two of us to get it back in its box. Every year I mean to get one of those tree bags but then I always forget when it's time to put the tree away. It, it never fails and I've had this tree since Christmas of 20, 17 or 2018, one of the two. But even Mako decided he wanted to join in and help us tape this box up. Even though there's this huge mess of crap back over here on the table that I'm trying to organize and put away, the fact that the living room and dining room are so blank already, it's really, really sad. I am gonna put other decorations back up. I might do that at the end of this video or just do it off camera, I'm not really sure yet. My other question, my Dyson, I have the V8 Motorhead. If you have the same one, how long does your battery last? Cause I've had it at like almost two years now. My battery just died after doing that corner over here with this Christmas tree and this corner over here, battery completely shot. So just curious how yours is hanging in or if mine just has a problem, I need to know. Like my lovely husband right there, he is trying to dissect it and see if the battery comes off, if it's replaceable, if we could switch it with a better one, anything. He's trying to fix that for me because this is like the third time this week it's died within two minutes of use. While he's working on that, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do the entry table real quick and the kids' bathroom. I'm just pulling down the decor. I'm not actually cleaning either one of these two areas because they were just done for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day guests. So I'm not actually cleaning any of them, just removing decor. There weren't very many decorations in the bathroom this year and I don't know what I wanna do with it for next year. I'm actually already thinking about it because that's the second year for that shower curtain and not very many decorations in here. So I'm probably going to completely redo this next year. It's just, it's already on my mind. Okay, will I be using this again? I stored all of it just in case, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it. These rugs have been through the ringer. This is their third Christmas. This sign right here, my daughter actually picked for me as a Christmas gift last year. We are taking a pause from the undecorating because I have to figure out where this water is suddenly coming from. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's not okay. And now look how much is coming out of there as I move that bag and everything out. I don't know where it's coming from, but now I'm starting to see water up here two that I didn't notice before, so we have a problem. Sorry about the fan noise, I'm drying out my wood. I've got a towel down there and a bucket down there to catch any water. I've got paper towels around this part because that's also leaking. My husband said it's a broken gasket and something else down there, so no matter what, we're going to have to replace that. <laughs> you never know, it's always something, but that's okay, my husband's gonna handle all of that. I'm gonna continue as best as I can undecorating in the kitchen now around all of that. Backstory, every year my husband gets one of these pot of gold chocolates and we forget every year until the week after Christmas or even two weeks after Christmas. That's just what we're laughing about there because we always buy it and then forget to eat it for Christmas. It's a weird Christmas tradition of ours. This truck tree combo thing has moved all over my house since we've had it. We've had it for, I think this is the third or fourth Christmas now, and it's been by the front door, it's been by the TV, it's been up on the refrigerator. It moves everywhere. It does not have a permanent spot for Christmas, but I kind of love that with my decor is that most of it can be moved anywhere I want to in the house and change it up from year to year instead of, okay, this is this designated kitchen decor, this is this designated living room decor. I can 
switch it up and make it still feel fresh and not have to buy a whole bunch of new decor pieces every year because that's ridiculously expensive and you have to store it or give up stuff and I'm like I'm a traditionalist I like to have certain things over the years so I just like to have pieces that can go anywhere in my home except for one specific place the mom side of me is so happy to take down this hot chocolate bar it is crazy my kids they're pretty clean but this area has just been dirty and sticky since november and i'm over it and just really ready and i tried to wash the jars and completely forgot the water was off so that's what you were seeing there but these jars are gonna have to sit for a little bit but i am gonna get them cleaned and put away I'm trying to move the Keurig over into the corner now instead of it being on the edge and seeing how I like that. It does make the kitchen seem a little bit more open, but now I'm trying to figure out if I want to even decorate that side over there next to it or not. This is the new faucet minus this little thing right here. We're not putting the soap dispenser out, just the faucet. Totally was not planning on doing that anytime soon, but we've had problems with that faucet since we moved in and I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. So this, I'm gonna let my husband do, and then I will come back into the kitchen after it's done, clean off all the counters, and just continue from there. Also, while we were at Lowe's, we just went ahead and picked up a new filter. So, friendly reminder, it is the start of a new month, start of a new year. <laughs> all of that, change your air filter out. The water's been turned back on, so now I'm gonna clean these jars, get them really good and scrubbed, because I'm going to store all of my Christmas stuff like that outside as well in a bin this year. I haven't done that before, so I'm hoping nothing breaks while it's out there, because that will, like, I have a bunch of Halloween mugs and Christmas mugs and things like that. I'm gonna store them all in the garage this year, so just fingers crossed nothing happens out there. And then this back counter, I'm gonna clean this off really well and clean off my knife block before I put it back. If you have a knife block or anything like that that sits on your counter and you don't really pay attention to it, you don't see all of the marks and crap that are on it if you're not really looking. So I want to give this thing a really good wipe down as I was putting it back on the counter. And then I love this tray. You guys know I love having my utensils and my oils and stuff like that right here, ready to go. It is functional decor, which is one of my favorite things. But this thing does also get very dirty too, so that's why I'm going to wipe down each item as I bring it over, so that way it's all nice and cleaned up too. You don't see that, but that's what I have been doing is wiping it all before I brought it over. And then just a little green plant just to do something to the kitchen. And then, yes, I do now own a Crosswave. This was a gift from my husband, well, my husband and myself to us, because we found it on Black Friday as a very good deal. It is the pet specific one for our house, which we need. And yeah, I'm struggling getting this thing out of the box. I had to use my legs and everything. I planned on going ahead and doing the floors and then I realized what time it is and it's getting close to dinner time and we are cleaning out everything from New Year's Eve and New Year's Day in my refrigerator. So I'm not actually cooking dinner, but if you searched on Pinterest at all during the holidays for like some kind of appetizer, I'm fairly certain you saw these sausage crustini things from the Jimmy Dean company. I have everything in my fridge, I just haven't made them yet. So this is what I'm about to make with you guys, but after reading it, I'm gonna change it a little bit to what I think would work a little bit better based on all the reviews and stuff, so that's what I'm gonna share with you guys. First things first, soften an entire block of cream cheese. What the recipe basically wants you to do is it wants you to cook this according to the package, drain it and set it aside, and then mix these both raw with the cream cheese and there's mozzarella cheese and a couple other spices. I'm not putting these in raw. I'm gonna cook this according to the package, then I'm going to cook these two, because they want them finely diced, so it's still fine to have them in there raw, but I'm gonna cook them a little bit, so uh, that's one of the main changes I'm making right there. These were so easy to put together. It was not very time consuming at all, and they were amazing. I really cannot picture them with the vegetables raw after making them like this, 
I think it was just phenomenal to actually cook down the vegetables and really get that extra flavor. And I stuck the cream cheese instead of putting it in a separate bowl. I put that in the hot pan. You'll see me do that later down the line. And I think it made a world of difference to actually be able to cream that into the warm pan instead of fight with it in a bowl when it's still kind of cold. It just, it made a lot of difference. So if you do follow the recipe, it is the one on Pinterest that's tagged down below in the description box. But just follow the few changes that I made. So, so, so good. And instead of toasting up my own bread or baguette that I bought and cut up, I found these in Aldi. It just made life a lot easier because I didn't make it right away. But otherwise, just follow directions in the recipe for what to do for regular bread. These were really easy though, and like I said, they did come out of Aldi. I put 16 pieces on each tray and I had heaping tablespoons on each one of these. So you could do less filling and make more of them or stick to about 16 to 18 of them and put like heaping amounts, that's really up to you. But then put it in a 375 degree oven. I put ours in there for I think it was eight, eight minutes, nine minutes, something like that. It was really, really short, but so tasty. Back to the cross wave. One thing, Mako will not play with it. I don't know what it is about this specific vacuum because he normally loves my vacuums. You guys have seen it. He will not touch this one. And part two, I am in love with this thing. It cleaned up my floor so well, so easy. The only thing is I did not realize that there's a little piece in there because this is the pet friendly one that handles all the dog hair and stuff. And you're gonna see something very funny. I will bring it back up when that part comes over. But yeah, I made a whoopsie. Just like, look at these dog paws. You guys know I have a lot of dirt and stuff from construction in my backyard. Watch how easy they just disappear off the tile. This thing is amazing. I, I cannot say enough good things about it. Now watch, here's the problem. Here is the dirty water, and I left the audio in of my problem. I made a whoopsie, but I did clean it all up and it was fine. The only thing is, it does have a pretty extensive cleanup process when you're done. So if you're tired and wait for the next day, that part's gonna suck if you don't do it right away. But otherwise, it wasn't too bad and it really cleaned my floor. The next time I do my floors, I'm gonna do multiple rounds and see how long it takes for the water to not look like that. Everything on my table this year actually fit into these two bins and then there is one additional bin for my garage that has decor from like the stockings and stuff like that. That's out there as well as two bins of crap we did not even bring out this year. So I have a lot of Christmas stuff I do need to go through and resort. But that's another day's problem. It wasn't for right now. I was just going to take all this crap off my dining table and put it away. And now normal chores because we have to close down the kitchen so we can put these kids to bed. So the first thing we're gonna do is load the dishwasher and clean up any of that that we need to do. And I'm gonna wipe down the island because I did not get to do that part of this cleaning yet. There is no decor on my island. I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet or if I'm gonna wait for Valentine's decor, but I don't put any of that up until February 1st. I do very short for Valentine's Day and I don't do very many items either. It's just a few tiny touches here and there. For all the stainless, I am gonna get that clean. So if I'm doing the entire kitchen, I'm gonna do the stainless as well. And I'm using the spray away, which I do finish off this can in this video. And I have bought another one since because I love it so much. And that is my only glass cleaner that currently remains in the house in that cabinet, except I think there might be like a tiny bit of method out there somewhere. and it never fails. I always forget one piece of decor when I pull down for the holidays, and it happened to be this Santa towel. 
So aside from having to put my mop away and some dog food and stuff, this still has to go out into the garage, but this is completely emptied out. I put these back up here, but that's all I've done so far in the entire living room is just those two little pieces of decoration. Aside from that, the dining room is completely empty. I don't know if I'm gonna put another centerpiece back on the table or not. I'm still deciding on that for right now. And then ignore the sound of the dishwasher, but other than my husband's stuff right over there, and that's where the crostinis are still sitting because they're done, and a few dishes in the sink, this is completely blank and emptied out as well. This is where I'm going to end this one tonight. It kind of is like a rock and a hard place situation. I'm very happy to have the clean blank slate and to start the year off fresh, but I do miss all my Christmas lights and just how like whimsical it was in here. I do miss that part. So, you know, like a rock and hard place situation. This video went way off course with all the stuff with the faucet, but when thing breaks, we have to just roll with it and go with it. And I did get to finish out and clear all of the Christmas out of the house. So I'm happy. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That does really help my channel. Subscribe if you are new and enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.